I haven't been vlogging, which is okay. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to the beginning of the vlog. It is Wednesday. We're a little behind. I'm still getting ready for the day. It is 7.57. I have class at 9 on Wednesdays, which is fun. How's everybody doing? I hope they're doing good. I'm gonna spread my face. That probably looks really funny and I'm really terrified to watch it back over. For reading this week, I started the second Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy book, which is called The Restaurant at the End of the Universe. I've started it, I'm on chapter five, I think. Let me see. Chapter five, that's where I'm at. This is a collection of all five books and the chapters are just, that looks weird. But that's how far I am technically um, in the whole entire thing. It's fun so far, I'm very much enjoying it. I love the narrator. I love everything about it. It's a good fun time. And then the other thing that I've been working on is uh, Chosen. Still trying to get through that <laughs> book. Just, I have so many currently reading that it's insane. And I want to like sit down and be able to read, but I feel like I have way too much homework, you know? Why is my nose so itchy today? Having so much fun, but it's Wonder Woman Wednesday. I got my cup. Let's like get ready together today because I don't know what else is happening. Oh. Ooh, I'm excited for the rest of this week. There's gonna be like a lot of stuff that's happening technically. I just started the vlog really really late because Tuesdays are like my uh, weekend days. They're when I work on YouTube and stuff. So I always edit my video and upload it on Tuesday and then edit whatever is gonna go up on um, Saturday if I'm doing Saturday. Um, there won't be a Saturday one before this video but there will be one after it. I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. I have lots of options to pick from and then I always try to like do my readings and everything on that day just kind of like get myself set up really for everything on Tuesday because the one day I don't have any to do anything at all so I just feel like I haven't done anything this week and I feel like I'm really behind because like I never do anything on Tuesdays which I should probably change, but it's literally the one day I don't have anything that I need to do every single week. Whatever happens, happens. Um, today, hopefully, I can get a lot more done. Look to God, because I really, really, really need to. Um, let's see what kind of eyeshadow we're gonna do today. Sure, why not? Let's do a deep color today. I used a blending brush yesterday, and it's teal, which it looks great. Can't really tell, but that's okay. Um, so, like, what are my plans this week? I do plan, I need to finish this one today. That's that's today's plan. Um, and then I also have, what do I have after that? It's audiobooks that I really need to finish. I have so many audiobooks. I'm like, oh, I'll listen to this and I don't listen to anything right now. What is this? What do you have for me? Yeah, I know it's due soon. It's due in a day. That's why I need to finish it today. After this one, oh, I'm really excited. I have the Obelisk Gate, so this one will be fun but yeah and then i kind of want to read midnight sun at the same time i'm really like into vampire stuff right now um so i'm reading chosen and i've been watching a lot of vampire diaries so i i have a vampire diary book because i've never actually read them i have the audiobook on libby right now so i have one of those i also just got um the Regot because I'm gonna reread A Court of Thorns and Roses. I got the audiobook <laughs> for that, so I got that one. As well, uh, like among a bunch of other ones, there's like a lot of books that I have on Libby right now that I've been waiting for a while. Everybody just was like, Oh, we're gonna just finish them, and I don't have like a million pieces of notes to write like I usually do. Like, most of my classes are like actually doing stuff, so. It's difficult this semester, I feel, to listen to audiobooks while I write my notes, but like I'm still trying my best here. I'm, d I'm trying to do everything, you know, you know how it is, right? I have so much finance to do, it's not even funny. Did I make that one way bigger than that one? I did. Look at me go. Finance is gonna kill me this semester. It's like, he just kind of explains it, and then he's like, okay, everybody go work in breakout rooms on the questions and I'm just like I don't know what's going on I don't know where to find any of this information you know and that's the only class like I've really written notes for as well because <sighs> I'm actually trying really hard and it's really freaking frustrating I suck at it I suck hardcore that's fine that's that's what's happening that's why I haven't like been here as much I'm in on Twitter because I'm wasting time on Twitter, but that's that's normal. But what else is going on? I just need to like catch myself up because I know Friday, Saturday I'm not gonna be doing anything. 
um, and then I work Sunday and then yeah all the good fun stuff I am we are doing the ghost photo shoot hopefully either Friday or Saturday and I'm very excited for that I'm going to a night market on Friday um, this is what I have decided to do for my birthday celebration because my birthday is next week in case you're wondering I feel old already I want to cry it's ugh, I feel like ugh. Ugh, I'm old, you know? When people like older than me, I'm like, uh. But like, when you turn this age, you probably feel the same way I do. I don't want to be here. I don't want to turn this old. What am I going to do ugh, when I just keep getting older? Oh, it's so bad. That's what's happening. Sorry, I got to concentrate on this. The dog will entertain you from the downstairs. Oh, it sits on my nose. That's what I get for wearing masks. I did like a really shit job. It's a good thing I don't have to turn on my camera for school because this is like a uh, squirrel just ran by. This is the it was, I was literally like squirrel. <laughs> um, it's a good thing I don't have to turn on my camera today because this makeup is atrocious. You know, I also have to go read my essays. I tried to read them last night, but I got distracted as per usual. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're weak start off great because you guys will see this on Tuesday and I will finish my mascara and then start the vlog oh I just need to get stuff done like I feel like I'm not getting anything finished because I feel like I catch up to one of my classes and then there's more to do like am I okay probably not no I'm not okay I'm having a midlife crisis and I feel like since we're online they're asking us to do extra stuff that we wouldn't have had to do before it's because we're online and they want us to pay attention I don't know it's a lot more like discussion boards and I, I hate that I don't I don't like it I don't have time for it some of us still have to leave the house okay it's frustrating I'll just suffer I guess you know anyways okay that's pretty much it I did my makeup I hope it was entertaining. It looks terrible. Let's start our week off. Hopefully good. See you in a second, I guess. Welcome to Friday. So I finished reading the restaurant at the end of the universe. I'm doing my face as I'm talking to you because I need to get to class. But I finished reading that one. Gave that five stars. It was like incredible. I am very excited that like finally I get more Tiger's Guide to the Galaxy, you know? Like after years of love in the movie, I'm like <laughs> There's more, which is cool. And then I started reading The Obelisk Gate. Obelisk? I don't know how to say it. Each, I think there's two separate narrators, or if the same lady is doing it at the same time, she says differently every time she says it. But I'm loving it a lot. Like, it's, it's really good. And I think that I rated the fifth season only four stars. I think I yeah but like this one i'm like why did i rate it only four stars i should have given it five like it was incredible and now i'm like this one's incredible but i i don't know i don't know <laughs> i'm like a little confused but anyways today's plans are after class i have to take a quiz that is my top priority if nothing else gets done today as long as i get that quiz done we're gonna be good and then i must clean my room i am doing my birthday celebration today and tomorrow rather than the next week because it just kind of worked out better I guess this week like my dad is coming and I have my cousins coming and everything so we're gonna be doing stuff and tomorrow we're making a cheese plate and I'm very excited or a cheese platter whatever they're called I'm very excited for that I think that's it I sound like really stepped up I like literally had to pry myself awake this morning so that was that was fun and I'm not gonna put on makeup right now I'm gonna do that later so that it looks fresh when we go to the night market. I'm very excited because like this is the first Friday where I have a Saturday off in like a hot minute and uh, I get to celebrate and I'm very excited. I hope we're all having a good week or whatever it is when you're seeing this. This video is going to be uploaded before my actual birthday so that's fine. I'm just doing the celebrations now. It's easier that way. After I finish the obelisk gate. Because I probably will finish today. Like, let's see how far I am. It says I'm 55% of the way through. I have 5 hours and 58 minutes left. So that's like 2 hours of listening for me. It's set- oh, hang on, it's refreshing. 2 hours and 2 minutes left of listening for me. That's not bad at all. And then, after I finish that one, I have one spot of dream as next. 
The amount of books I currently have on the go or in Libby is insane. I have, so I have, including the obelisk gate, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight books in Libby right now. I mean, they're due like seven, 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 twelve, fifteen, eighteen, eighteen, and twenty-one days. So I just accepted another one now. It's insane. I'm getting back into like my mojo because like, so I finished the restaurant at the end of the universe on Wednesday and then yesterday I picked up here's how you get the crimpy hair this is a little crazy but that's okay that's what's happening I don't know what else to say I'm sure I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff tonight and I'll come back and show you guys and you guys will see the pictures obviously cuz ghost photo shoot like come on it's gonna be cool let's go welcome to Saturday for once it's like the middle of the day it's almost noon um, but I have a collection of things that I would like to show you. I may need to zoom out a little bit. Sure, that works. That looks better. I think this is... Ooh, I don't know. So for starters, last night I, I got a couple birthday presents and I'll show them to you. My birthday is a week from today. Um, so next week. And, but since I'm seeing my family this weekend, this was my birthday weekend celebration. It's very fun and we went to the night market I'll show you what I bought because there's some fun things in there and then look what do I what am I doing today what am, I'm gonna think I'm gonna try to finish and finalize my witch Instagram I have six more posts to make and then I'm done so I think that's the plan for today I'm gonna update my blog I just want to do social media things today and then I have like one homework piece oh maybe three homework pieces I need to do really quick things so nothing too much to worry about and then tomorrow I'm working so we'll see what happens but I do also plan on reading today the one I plan on finishing I am still where I was yesterday and read anything after yesterday um, still 55% of the way through well, maybe I read a little bit for the ob obelisk gate this guy because the book is downstairs I don't have it up here but so my mom got me um, for like things, she got me like Wonder Woman things, which is really fun, and I got new masks from her, which are this pattern, which is also really cool. Um, oh, and a Wonder Woman mask that is store bought, which is fine. And then my cousin, wonderful lady, got me like these really cool skull glasses, which are awesome, and this sign says drink up wish witches, <laughs> which is really cute. Um, as well as, I actually haven't opened this to look at it yet. It's like an incense burner, but she said it also could fit like a tall candle. Um, because I don't use incense. I don't have incense. It does not in this household. But other than that, it's like really cool. It is like a little saucer alien. And it's really cute. I love it. And you put like the incense in the top and it comes out the bottom like that. So that's that's just basically what it looks like. And also some golden retriever socks. Cause like why not? So awesome, wonderful, I love it. I think that this is gonna be like my new nighttime water glass. Because I always have issues keeping one up here, but that's okay. I'll still buy. So from the night market we went to, there was an artist and I got this print right here. Very, very cute. Um, I'm going to try to find everybody I bought stuff from yesterday, like online, but I make no promises because my online searching skills are not that great. My friend purchased this candle for me. It is a Smoky Quartz Roots Chakra Protection Candle. That's what it looks like. But it has oh, the crystal in it and some herbs on top. It's a patchouli scent. <clears throat> I feel like I'm talking really quietly, but like I don't want to talk. Uh, more. Oh, this is Tamed Wild. I got uh, Tamed Wild. This is, um, I don't think the booth was Tamed Wild, but they, uh, it was, we got a bunch of um, buy random crystals kind of thing. Like it was just a bag and it was like, you can get a random crystal in here. And the one that I got was the Desert Rose Quartz. Like that's what it looks like. It looks really cool. From there, and then we also got another one. This was like a little box. Um, with a bunch of stuff, there's a lot of shells in here, but, and like, um, so like, really cool shells like this, which are really pretty. I don't know, can you see that? Ooh, it likes to focus on my face when I'm trying to show off stuff, but, um, and then it got more shells, and this was a hunk of amethyst that I got. 
Um, and then I also got, I don't know what these two things are, but they're really cool. I will have to look them up later. If you know what they are, like, by all means, tell me. But like, they look really cool. Awesome, fun. And I got like a little, she did a little jar and there is clear quartz and amethyst in here. So like amethyst on that side and then there's like a little piece of clear quartz in there. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, so yeah. And then, is that all over there? Yep. There was a, another one, but this was like random, uh, surprise bracelet in one of the bags. And it came with like a charm that you could see on the outside. Like that. I don't know what that is, but that's okay because uh, it might be part of like the actual bracelet. This bracelet is Kiwi Stone Apache Tears and Pyrite. So there's like one piece of pyrite right there, but that's what it looks like. And it's really cute. And then, what else did I get? Also from the same place as the bracelet, I got this um, little box thing and I kind of want to like put tarot cards in there. Oh, it's upside down like that. Put tarot cards in there and then I'll show you what's inside. Very fun. So it's supposed to come with like the bracelet. Oh, is there another bracelet? Yes, there's another bracelet. I was like, I bought another bracelet. So it came with another like bracelet and I got um, lapis lazuli because that's the stone that's been like calling to me right now. It tells you all like the different ways. There's like a little card that you can infuse it with energy. So they gave you like a little bit of sage, which I know is white sage, and that's a big no-no. Um, and then, but it came with um, selenite because I, I don't burn sage in this house. I can't burn anything in this house. Everybody's allergic to smoke. Um, that's why. So I have the selenite, and then she's like, you can use the white candle to infuse it with positive energy, and the black candle to infuse it with negative energy, which I thought was really cute. But it's all for like the bracelet, and then I have the surprise bracelet. Um, but I think that this box I'll probably use for like crystals or something else because I just honestly wanted the box. Honestly, just wanted the box, and I told her that I was like, I really just want the box. Everything else is like kind of an added bonus, so thank you. I think that's like everything that I got. I bought a couple other things, but they were like for my cousin and my roommate. But I think that was it. Is that all we did? We did, and then this morning we did a cheese platter, and that was really really fun. If I can grab that off of Instagram, I'll show it to you. But it was like, it's like really thick cheeses, but I liked it. It was very fun, and I didn't buy any plants, so <laughs> I'd say that's a win. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna work on my Instagram and continue reading and then see what happens. But this also means after all this stuff, I'm probably gonna rearrange my uh, altar again. So you might get an update on that. Welcome to the end of the vlog. I am probably gonna do this really quickly. It's Sunday night. It's 6.35 p.m. I just got home from work and I have ordered myself some food, but I have to do two discussions on essays that I have read that I've been putting off all week and they're due tonight. <laughs> so I gotta do that. I just kind of like started. I have not even a sentence. I have half of a sentence done and I think that's, I hope that's all I have to do tonight. I know that when tomorrow comes I'll be super productive but today I'm not. In other news, what have I been doing book wise because this is a reading vlog. I finished The Obelisk Gate, The Obelisk Gate, whatever you want to call it. It was amazing. I was going back and forth while I was listening to it and reading it at the same time. I was going back and forth going, do I give this five stars because I, like, I love it and I think it's incredible or do I get four stars because I gave the first one four stars and I was going back and forth. I ended up giving it four stars specifically because so for the first one, the reason why I ended up giving the first one four stars was because it was kind of like all this like amazing, amazing stuff and then it was like boom at the end. And I really liked the boom at the end even though I loved everything and but we were mostly learning about the world. In this one there was a lot more world and magic building. They actually called it magic in the second one. And I gave it four stars because it was all this learning and fantastical things and all this crazy stuff was happening and then at the end I know it's supposed to be like a cliffhanger or whatever but it just kind of fell flat for me I still love it I'm still going to continue with I think the last one was called the stone sky I have um, requested the audiobook on Libby so when it shows up it will show up but that's fine and then I got 
58% of the way so far. I might read more tonight through Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell. This is um, the twisted tale for Sleeping Beauty and this one is really really fun. It's basically like the first scene in the book. This one is not the same as the first one was because the first one was the first half of Aladdin and then Jafar got the lamp. This one is different. It's the scene where the prince is killing the dragon is the first one and then he gets in to go kiss Aurora to wake her up and he falls asleep and then they're stuck in a dream. They're stuck in Aurora's dream. The entire kingdom is stuck in there and Maleficent is controlling everything and it's really fun. I'm I'm really enjoying it so much. Like I like it a lot. I'm having a good fun time. That's the update on that. I uh, Yesterday I just cleaned and then I had like a two hour nap. I didn't actually end up working on anything important, but it was okay because I like I really needed to clean my room. On the weekends I just like clean my room because it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I'm starting off the week product like really well and doing good things and it just puts me in a better mood. So the fact that I cleaned a lot yesterday was really nice. And then what else is happening? I don't know, we'll see what happens this week. I want to get a lot of homework stuff done because I don't know what's coming up. Like what are the due dates that are coming up? I have no idea. I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea what like is going on anywhere at all. And I just need to, I need to, I need to finish like the last six posts for my witch Instagram and then I can really, really focus because I'm, I'm trying, I've been writing notes for my witch Instagram while I'm in class and that like needs to stop like I need to focus so I'm like having issues with that kind of stuff but that's okay and then and then I'll feel much better about like all this once I like figure out what the fuck is going on because I literally have no idea oh but I also like in between was reading um, the heroin complex I I'm on page 24 I'm only 6% of the way through but I really really like it this one is by Sarah Kuhn very fun. I am enjoying it. I don't know what chapter I'm on. Um, Zatastrophe. I think it's an article. That's okay. It's very fun. I was reading that on the train because, or on the bus, the train to the bus because somebody tried to talk to me. This is like some guy tried to show me like a video of somebody doing the virtual golf and I was like, oh, like you can't see my face, but I'm doing this. I don't want to, I don't care, buddy. I don't know who you are. He tapped me. I was like, don't touch me. This is COVID. Um, so that was, it was really weird. And so when we opened the door, cause I was standing right next to the door, he let me go first and I basically booked it out of the bus, but it was weird and I did not appreciate it. So please don't tap me. If you see me, just like, don't talk to me. <laughs> I don't, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you on transit. Some random person. If you know me, we've spoken on like Twitter and stuff. That's fine. But like, I don't know you, dude. Why are you showing me virtual golf? I don't understand. I'm just gonna, I just gotta finish my homework. You know, um, we'll see how long this is. If it's not long enough, I'll add some more stuff. But I hope you all had a good day, a good week. I hope everything is going well for you. My stress is slowly went dwindling, which is good because my productivity is coming up, which is fantastic. Go me. I still want to write a bunch, but my reading is coming back, and the reading means if I'm listening to an audiobook, while I'm doing my schoolwork, we're doing good. This is good. My mental health is going back to good. I've also been having really weird vivid dreams. Oh my gosh, listen to this. I had a dream last night that I called and made my doctor's appointment and then had like was ready to have my doctor's appointment. I woke up this morning and I didn't have a doctor's appointment. So I still have to call them to make a doctor's appointment. But the fact that I dreamed that I did it has given me the confidence that I actually can do it because I did it in my dream world. So <laughs> I hope that makes sense because I hate calling the doctor. Like that's not the thing that I want to do because last time I called, I could just do like an over the phone one. Like I called me an over the phone appointment and um, they just called me and we talked about it and then they gave me a new prescription so it was like really really fun um that was nice i very much enjoyed that and but this time i like i have to go in because i have my like yearly unless i can like put it off for a little bit that would be very nice if i could put off the yearly that'd be great but i don't think they'll let me uh but also my doctor is not there at the moment at least i don't think she is it's very complicated. Basically in February before COVID happened, my doctor went on a leave 
and so when I had my doctor's appointment over the phone in like April she was still gone and I talked to a dude and I don't want to go in for my yearly checkup with a dude doctor because of certain reasons my health stuff that I do not feel comfortable so I would like my lady doctor it's a lady it's not a lady doctor she's a family it's a family doctor but it's a woman and I trust her because she's been my doctor since I moved to this city and I like her and I would rather have her than somebody else somebody I don't know you know does that make sense I mean, I like the other dude because he's the one who helped me fix my face full of acne that was going on for, like, too long. Um, but I don't, I don't want that. If we do another over the phone one, that's fine with me. This is my struggle. <laughs> I'm just gonna ramble about how much I do not want to go to the doctor's office. <sighs> yeah, hopefully I can just do one over the phone. We'll see what happens. Okay, anything else? What else do I have to talk about? My food is almost here, so I'll have to go grab that. I'm gonna work on my assignments. And maybe I'll check in later, I don't know. But for now, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for listening to me rant about the doctor's office. And I will see you all, there will be a video on Saturday. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, because I have lots. But please enjoy this video. I'm glad, I hope you enjoyed it. Please enjoy it, this is the end. Um, enjoy Saturday's video, and I will see you all next time. So goodbye.